this is gonna be a long video okay it's going to be a lot a lot okay hey guys welcome back to the channel as you can see <laughs> I don't have any makeup on you know what before we get started I really 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 need to mention this my first story time video yeah the the side chick one oh my god I literally I'm a very small channel very small and I literally thought that max maybe that video would get 5,000 views if anything that video is sitting on 40,000 views I do not know where to even start my subscriber count shot up I'm just Shuck. I really want to thank you guys so 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 much uh, for liking that video and the comments were hilarious some of them I suppose you know if a video gets 40,000 views yeah there were some bad comments <laughs> there were some great comments there were some really sad ones I don't know there was a lot I, I can't even get through all of them because I read them I I will comment on them I just need that video to just slow down a little bit you know what I mean but because of that video and because of the messages and the texts that I've been getting to do another story time video I'm here to do another story time video yes it is another story time video and this time around we're going to be talking about the day that I almost got arrested and yeah yeah so if you guys want to see this video then <laughs> you know what to do but before you do any of that before you watch it please click the subscribe button it helps me out a lot i really really do appreciate it like i'm just but I'll talk about that video and the subscriber count and whatever in my giveaway video but yeah I talk a lot so I think the best thing is to actually just get started let's just get started okay. first things first as you can see the title of the video uh, yes there was a time in my life so I'm just putting concealer on I've already uh, primed and put on some SPF so just going in with concealer for the eyes you know so, <sighs> so this one time a while back I was uh, attending a friend's party and um, wow the friend's party was in the hood oh first first things first before I get into it listen 97% of this video is going to be in English but there are certain terms that when you say them they just sound so much more better in Vinek and I am so too and yeah sometimes when I want to emphasize my point I might just go off in so too it is what it is you can get the gist of the video you don't have to worry about what I said if I feel the need to actually explain it to you I will write it down so that you can see what I mean but for the most part it's nothing you really have to worry about okay it's really not that big of a deal I got some comments about that so it's really not that big of a deal this video opens at I'm using a beauty treats palette for the first time in my life this, this one night I went to a party at a friend's house so my friend was celebrating she's gonna know if she watches this video she'll know that I'm talking about her so she was celebrating her uh, <laughs> she was celebrating her birthday and she was uh, she had sort of joined the party with her cousin as well her cousin was also celebrating a birthday a guy his birthday so I had gone to this party you know wonderful I was looking fresh I was looking really really pretty the party was in the hood okay so basically uh, you know parties in the hood tend to get a little bit rowdy and I, I, I prefer that I prefer that I've always preferred that over going to a club or something people who know me would know this um, so we, I went to this party went with a friend of mine and when we got there parked my car wonderful party commenced and uh, it was it was really really a big a big shindig right so fine how get to this party <laughs> have our fun get introduced to people wonderful things uh, I knew quite a lot of people that were there so that was nice as well you know it tends to get really awkward when you get to a party and you know no one there like or you know one or two people there but I went to school with this girl so now Theo's parents were there and I don't think she'll mind that I mentioned her name but yeah her parents were there and 
you know, sometimes you tend to feel, I was in my early 20s, but at, at, sometimes you tend to feel a little bit shy drinking in front of parents. So a friend of mine, Tabi saying, and I walked, they're not going to mind me talking, mentioning their names, I promise you. Um, so we walked further down the road because I had a drink in my hand. And at this point, there was a regulation in the country that you cannot drink on the streets okay you cannot drink on streets that belong to government the government you understand you can drink in your yard and what have you but you can't drink on the street so i'm walking down the street doing type saying literally just not even you know minding my own business and all that jazz um type saying and i decide to walk down the street because we want to have a little bit of a private conversation <clears throat> no when the neighbor's dog starts barking and you don't have a dog and you're wondering but why though why though anyway wow so anyway uh Tabisang and i walk down the street and i'm telling her this really really interesting story so i've got my back to what's about to happen so i'm i'm facing her like this as i'm facing you guys and something happens in the back right so as we're talking and we're sort of just, you know, making conversation, you know, laughing, having a fat chat. I have this, hey, if you guys know E, 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 Red Square, yes, I had that in my hand, right? I am not aware of the fact that I am literally directly in the middle of the street. I am, I'm thinking that, ah, man, you know, at, at some point we were in the yard, how we moved into the middle of the street, I am not even going to tell you because I do not know how we moved into the middle of the street, right? So fine, how? Moving into the middle of the street, I'm busy telling her, like Rako Paws, we, we're just busy gossiping, I know, hey, 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 we're having such a good time, and I open my red square. Like, literally, this is what I've done. Nothing else. It hasn't even come to my lips. It hasn't even next. And then it's like I could have like a like a beat that dramatic face. Dun, 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 dun. Immediately as I open it, lights, blue lights in the back. Police people. Yeah, one of my police. Popo in the back. And the popo. I, I didn't even have to. No one said anything. All I just heard was. I'm like. They're right behind me. The moment I hear that sound, and then I start to see the blue lights reflecting on the ground, I'm like, fuck. Oh my God, I'm gonna get arrested, right? So they then pull up close to us. Time saying like, okay, just relax, relax. Okay, no, relax, relax. We'll talk to them. Relax, relax, right? So I'm like, Tabi, whoops. So I'm like, in Tabi saying, I'm gonna die. I cannot get arrested. My mama is gonna kill me. This cannot be happening to me right now. Please let us talk to them. Tabi Singh's like, no, no, chill, chill. We're gonna talk to them. We're gonna... They pull up. Five police men get out of the car. Five police men get out of the car. I'm like, wow, I am fucked. One of them comes up to me and he's like, oh, see, what's up? I'm like, eh, eh, at this point, I can't even talk. My piss is right at the door. Like, I'm about to piss my pants right now. I cannot believe I'm gonna get arrested. And my mama and my daddy, I didn't even know, like, where am I gonna start to explain the story? How do I even explain it to them? What do I say, right? Okay, so this guy's like, listen, there's not much we can say about this. Um, please just get into the car and let's go. I'm like, no. My friend in Tim Singh is like, no, man. How, oh, man? We can talk about this. Please. Hey, hey, hey. She didn't know. What, 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 what? Oh, oh, she didn't know. She didn't know that public drinking is no longer allowed. She didn't know. She didn't know. And then they start laughing at me and now he's searching me. Mind you, like he's searching me. Like proper, proper searching me, right? Shut up, fine. I don't even think you were supposed to do that, Leo Rabish. I don't even think you were supposed to do that. I don't think that's part and parcel of his job. He was just supposed to arrest me and keep it moving, right? So fine. I'm like, no, it's fine. Tim Singh's like, you know what, girl? It's fine. It's fine. Give me your phones. Give me your phones. Give me your car keys. I have my phones, my car keys, everything on me. I'm even telling them, like, please, just give me a breathalyzer test. I am not, 
I am not drunk. I haven't even had one glass of alcohol. Please, please. And they're like, no, no. We, we really couldn't be bothered. It's against the law what you are doing. I'm like, okay. My mother's gonna kill me. I will no longer be my mother's child. My mother is gonna disown me and my life is over. Fine. I get into the car. Tapsing takes my keys. She takes everything that I had on me and she's like, no, it's fine, girl. I'm gonna get everybody. Don't worry, girl. We're coming. Rata. Never, never. Yeah. And the policemen are busy saying that, no, she's gonna spend the weekend in jail. You need to understand. She's only going to be released on Monday. <laughs> and now I'm getting into the back of a police van. First and foremost, the moment they opened the door, I even remember, it smelled disgusting, okay? I don't even know if they had arrested some people prior that night because it smelled disgusting. Somebody probably pissed it back. Fine, Tabisen goes and she gets our friends, right? She picks up our friends, she runs off. I am now taken and I'm in this police van, guys. So they drive off with me. But now the thing is, if you have been in the back of a police van, you will know this. You will know that um, they don't take you straight to the police station. They round out the whole auction with you looking for other people that are in the same position as you. So they go around looking for people first and then they will then go to the police station. So as the car pulls off from the street where the party is at, I can see all my friends. Like, you know, I respect and I have love for my friends for that day because I saw everybody getting into their cars. There was pretty like, pretty much like five cars like a convoy of like five cars just coming behind me just like on some cat we are coming the cops pull up to this one party where they find a guy that is drunk in the middle of the streets right and he is so wasted oh my neighbor fell too like he's complaining no don't take me <laughs> they even decide to let this man go but keep me in the car because they feel like no this one must go the, the, the men decide, they're like, ah, this one is too drunk, there's no point. There's really no point in us taking this one. Oh, oh, so there's point in taking me, but there's no point in taking the other one. Okay, ah, no, that's fine. Continue, continue. So they take me, and eventually we get to the police station. Now trust men, men to be men, okay? As soon as we get to the police station, <laughs> as soon as we get to the police station, one of the cops... A young guy, he was cute, I'm not gonna lie, he was, you know, he was cute. One of the guys gets out of the car and then decides that uh, before we go into the police station, before we go into the police station, he wants to talk to me. Yeah, understand what I'm saying? He wants to talk. Basically, he wants my number before I go into the chunk name into jail he's like ah oh, manish why mara why such pretty girl like you why would so mara why would so i'm like yes yeah, yeah, at this point i really don't have the time for any of this nonsense no man hey let's talk i'm like excuse me if you want to talk to me you get me out of this situation i am not gonna sleep god troco what am i gonna say to my mom am i holding cells can you imagine i will Okay, so I go back inside. I've gotten Tabi Seng's phone. Tabi Seng gave me her phone. It was like a really old phone. She's like, no, we need to be able to get a hold of you. So I've gotten Tabi Seng's phone and Tabi Seng uh, is busy calling me. She's like, girl, we're here, we're here. We're going to try and talk to these people so that they can release you. Don't worry, what, what. I am like, Tabi Seng, please. So this woman comes in. I'm in this room. I haven't gone to the holding cells yet. So this woman comes in, a police officer, of course, and she comes in and she says, "What is my so like? You're so pretty. What is my so? What can? Obey my king. Maria Vel. It's girls like you, Vela, that end up in these places at uh, over the weekends. I'm like." <laughs> Damn, I was ready to go off at that woman, right? So fine, she gives me a piece of paper. On that piece of paper is details. Like your name, your place of work, your this, your this. It's like proper details. You need to put down your information. <laughs> Did I not say I was Palisa? <laughs> Man, nah, write down my name 
and my address and my home address. Did I not say that my name was Palisa? I wrote Palisa and I wrote some other odd surname. I wrote some other odd address. They take me. And I, <laughs> that time, <coughs> that time, I need to piss. Do you understand? I need to pee. Like, yo, the piss is at the door. So I asked this lady, I'm like, hoping that before they take me to the holding cells, I can piss somewhere there in, uh, I can take a tinkle somewhere there in the offices, right? I'm like, please, can I just pee, what, 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 what? And she's like, yeah, no, there's, 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 there's toilets in the holding cell. I'm like, okay. She walks me into the area of the holding cells. That day I spoke to my ancestors. I spoke to my parents. I spoke to all the people that I could speak to in my mind. And I said, today I'm going to piss my pants. And that's okay. Because there is no way in hell that I'm going to pee in any of these cells. You can miss me. So fine, I'm praying. I'm praying for a miracle. I go into another room where I have to fill in another form. Luckily for us, one of our friends who was supposed to come to the party but hadn't come is actually a police officer at that very police station. So this is where the clouds start to open up and the sun starts to stream in. So as I'm there, the lady says, listen, I need you to take off your earrings take off your shoelaces. I'm like, shoelaces? I was wearing sneakers. Really, really hot Adidas sneakers. Nice. Like, really nice. And she's like, yes, I'm gonna need you to take off your shoelaces. And then I say to her, why am I taking off my shoelaces? And then she says to me, unless you plan on getting strangled, I suggest you take them off. I'm like, okay. You know, like, I literally take them off. Same time, I'm like, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. So, as I'm sitting in there, slowly filling out this form, slowly hoping for a miracle. My miracle happens at this point. The clouds open and the sun streams through and I hear my friend, the police officer, they had to call him and wake him up and say, yo, yo, that there is about to spend the night in jail. You need to come down here right now. So they called him up. Okay, he comes, listen, he's in his shorts, he's in, you could tell that he was at home, dude, resting. And then he comes and he starts screaming, banging on the bars, Sergeant, Sergeant, hey, Sergeant, Sergeant. Sergeant appears, the guy, the man who's in that area, and he appears and he's like, what are you doing here? You know, what are you doing here? You're off today. Why, 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 why are you making such a noise? Why are you No, Sergeant, no, 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 you can't do this. No, you can't do this. To what? Why? What? And then he's like, hey man, the person you are arresting is my wife, man. <laughs> and this person, eight weeks ago, she had just given birth and now you are arresting my wife? No, 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 no. I'm like, now I'm listening to this in the other room. I'm listening to all of this and I'm like, okay. So there's clearly a story and I need to get on board. Like right now, I need to get on board. So as they open up for him and he comes in, he looks at me and he winks. Like, you know, play along, right? So he starts screaming at me. I can't win again, go in. What can you win? And if you're here, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Like he's screaming. We, it's like a days of our lives. We have a, it's like a days of our lives, generations mixed nyana with bo. Somewhere there, keep mixing nyana. Who's the baby with? I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I can't speak because I don't know where to start. Because if I start somewhere, I'd be lying. <laughs> so I'm just like, ah, yeah, yes, sis. Sergeant is like, oh, calm down, man. It's not that big of a deal, man. Relax, relax. Come on, come on. Let's, uh, let's sit in the other room. Let's talk about this. No, no, you guys can't be screaming at each other like this. I'm like this. This is the moment where I notice this is my saving grace. This is what's going to get me out of here right now right now he calls one of the police officers he says no bring me her release form she must sign her release form you guys must just go home go home and don't even worry about it go home it's fine it's enough blah 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 it's enough with the shouting thanks man sergeant yes sir i'm gonna pour her way and i'm walk out to wow lord global glow as we walk out to the front I see all my friends there. I was so happy. Like, I was so happy to see all my friends there. Some of them are crying. They're like, oh my God, Kat, 
we thought you we never thought you would come back blah blah i'm like this is me pella now now that i'm out nya papa need nya papa now that i'm out i'm like okay of course i was gonna come back what's up come on let's go we never thought we were gonna come like guys not that big of a deal i was shit scared okay i'm not even gonna lie about it right now i was so scared like i didn't even know i didn't even know what the hell i'm gonna do with my life as soon as we got there one of the guys from the party was standing right outside and he was standing right outside and he was like he opened another red square and he gave it to me and he said from now on drink inside and that was it like that was the one day the one day where i thought that i was gonna sleep in jail yep yep so that's it that is my story i'm gonna go put on some lashes and look appropriate but yeah feels so i hope you guys enjoyed the story time i i suppose it's not as interesting as the solid trick story but uh it it it's something for the books it's something for the books i i also used to go out at night and once almost got arrested so anyway yeah i'll see you guys in the next story time which won't be anytime soon because i need to think about these things before i say them but i'll see you in the next story time until then take care and see you soon don't forget to subscribe bye